Hi Ankit, welcome on your video. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Okay, so how is your everything going in Canada, uh, Ankit? Your academics and all? So academics is good, but uh, still, you know, it's uh, winter time, so we are trying to cope up with the wind. Chilled, chilled uh, means there, huh? chilled climate weather conditions. Uh, very much chilled, sir. <laughs> so be safe there, Ankit. So Ankit, today uh, our this interaction is related to a very, very crucial, you know, uh, factor, and that is related to MS admissions from your media global. So uh, I, I came to know that uh, there is a 100% conversion and uh, selection of the students who are enrolled with Europedia recently in MS. But that also gave me one uh, you know, question mark in my mind that MS, uh, the selection in MS, obviously you will get it. Because in that case, student is to put money from his pocket to the universities and universities are willing to take the students. But the thing comes is, quality comes is, where Europedia can step in is, are students getting very good colleges also number one and number two can they get scholarship also so getting into ms anybody can send the students that is not a problem so uh, the kind of mentors we have on your media kind of quality we talk about in your media uh, that actually uh, is not justified on the basis of you know we send our students for ms because that they will get it but where we step in where our role comes is are we sending students to good colleges and uh, can they get the scholarship over there? So our discussion today is about that. So first I come to you, Ankit. Uh, you please brief us about the recent selections of uh, students in MS uh, through your PDA Global. Yes, sir. So actually, uh, that's correct. Uh, so far, we have 100% conversion record. And uh, if student is joining your PDA, that's, that's for sure that he is going somewhere. All those the selection depends on his profile. Even you know if his profile is average, still there are probability that that, that student will get a uh, university within top 500. We have so many students in Europedia, and uh, these students I'm talking about, they are not from IITs and NITs, from, uh, you know, tier three engineering colleges. So they kind of work hard there and they try to, you know, uh, do internships, do projects, and uh, uh, that's really good for them. And uh, recently uh, they have joined us, like two to three students so far. have got uh, really good uh, you know selections in USA in Australia in, in in Europe as well and in Canada as well so our recent selection his name is Gitartha and I think interaction is already available on uh, YouTube with him and he got like you know five offers uh, so far and he's from uh, WGO University in Assam which is not uh, obviously IIT and NIT right and his uh, profile is kind of average apart from 8c gpa uh, you know uh, he worked really hard on his profile and i believe you know uh, that's why he applied for uh, some relevant branches in industrial engineering as well as in data science and so far he's been accepted to uh, both of these programs and uh, astonishingly he got offer from new york universities which is new york university which is currently ranked uh, at uh, 39th position all over the world and uh, he even got scholarship of $16,000. Yeah. Yes, sir. In, in, in industrial, there is no match of uh, New York. Course. Of course, it's good. University is good and scholarship is also there. Scholarship is also there. Mm -hmm. So, what so, is how, how it happens, Ankit, that student from an ordinary college gets into top university in US with a scholarship in MS? How it happens? What are the criteria? What are the parameters? So, the first first thing is, you know, whenever MS students join Europedia Global, uh, we sit with them, we discuss their profile, and we try to, you know, uh, divide the positive and negative uh, aspects of their application. Negative could be CGPA or less number of internships, and uh, it's always a thing to compensate your less CGPA. So if you have a less CGPA, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. So then basically, you know, uh, we try to give them university's name, uh, based on our experiences and we say that we we have uh, we think that you know you have priority in these these universities if you definitely apply and then basically we take care of documents so our documents uh, psychology of document formation is pretty much uh, very uh, decent we always say that whatever the documents you have your cv sop and your lor these all three documents should mutually support each other mm -hmm. so there is uh, no way that you are writing one thing on your CV and entirely separate thing on your SOP. So if you're doing that, that's a negative point of your application. Achha, Ankit, uh, one more cause of concern in your PDA global, which we are facing nowadays, and Rahul the other was talking to me, that
what is happening is like student from very good colleges like iit nits and all they are sitting in complacency or they are preparing for placement whatever and not focusing total on you know application abroad and they don't give their 100% in that particular process whereas the student from ordinary colleges because they have no other option uh, no b plan uh, except that okay i'm to go abroad and he's uh, putting 100% effort on the things as you just now mentioned so in uh, so a uh, uh, result of that what is happening is like students from ordinary colleges are getting extraordinary opportunities and students from extraordinary colleges in india are not even getting the ordinary opportunities so what is your answer to that that particular riddle that problem do you agree with this so i whole heartedly uh, uh, you know agree with you uh, on this topic so the thing about iits and nit and uh, iits and nits is that you know sometimes they have a lot of opportunities right as you have mentioned they have this uh, uh, thing called uh, placement so you know they focus on job and they passively want to apply anywhere uh, for every every other opportunities so that's uh, not a bad thing uh, but it also depends on your vision so if you have a vision if you want to move to abroad you want to do phd if you want to uh, go to even you know uh, good mncs with higher packages so that's vision so you know if if, if you have a vision so again it, you should not settle for the less ultimately we have students you know we have students from top most mncs they are working for microchip technologies they are working for ansys they are working for nvidia from computer science electronics is even from mechanical they are from caterpillar even they are moving for uh, for, for the mc abroad so it's all about vision uh, you have to be very active selections are already there for you but the thing is you know you don't know uh, what will happen if you don't apply okay that's what even we have selections uh, you know uh, for the direct phd mm -hmm. and uh, you know students have joined us rice university from our consultancy yes. so that means uh, uh, irrespective of what your college is you need to put effort and if you put effort opportunities will pop up so you can't take the things casually if you uh, uh, try somewhere, try wholeheartedly, give your 100%. That's the message I think which can go. And, uh, uh, you know, we started with the riddle that uh, can students get scholarship and good universities uh, in MS? Or is it like we are uh, sending them to any college? Answer you gave through example of a student of Dibrugad uh, College, uh, I think, and you said New York University, a wonderful university with the scholarship. If he can get it, everybody else can get it. So it's all matters is how much effort you do. So Ankit, that brings exactly. us to uh, an end of this session in which we were uh, talking about a very, very relevant thing. And I request you to come out with such uh, more, uh, you know, cases where we can record uh, our, you know, interaction with these students so that others also uh, get to see this and they also prepare in that direction. So thanks a lot, Ankit, for your time. Sure, sir. Thank you.